Bryce, we're very excited. You know, Eric, Petro, myself are with Yaymaker, where we do, used to do in-venue events. Now we're doing a lot of virtual events. People know us for our paint night. People typically buy events. We're excited to have a free event with you up to the public. Mm -hmm. And um, I personally, and I know Eric, saw you on Shark Tank. So that was just very exciting to just for us to see you and now be able to work with you. Um, we're excited. We know July 23rd, that upcoming Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. We're doing an event of a wine tasting event with you. As I said, I just bought a case of your wine, so I'm excited. But uh, Eric actually is also a French citizen and uh, knows a little French. So I thought I'd have Eric kind of ask a few questions and do a little mini interview. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? Très bien. Very well. Thank you. Well, see. Beautiful. <laughs> so, I guess the first question I kind of have here, uh, you know, when we watched you on Shark Tank, you referred, you know, you used to be a wine snob. It's kind of what you're trying to break out of. Can you just talk to us a little about kind of the inspiration, kind of the reason for creating Obvious Wines and what your vision was initially? Um, you know, after having moved to the U.S., I, I was still drinking a lot of wine, and as I mentioned, still had this snobbiness, snobbinism, snobbiness in me. Uh, but, you know, my wife is American and just spending time with her and with my friends as well, I, I you know, kept noticing that they, there was always this type of intimidation um, when it comes to wine. And they always asked me to pick the wine. They were like, oh, you're, you're the French man. You're going to pick the wine in the, in the restaurant or in the store. Um, and, you know, coming from a European country I was like I, I don't understand why people are so intimidated why they don't dare uh, to talk about wine to pick a wine and because you know wine is meant to be a fun and casual product it's a complex and, and a very artisanal product but you know it's really meant to be shared with people um, so that was really the idea was like how can we change this perception and, and how can, can we change and invite people to talk more and feel more comfortable about talking uh, about wine Right, right, and that's a that's a noble uh, mission because I can say for myself, and uh, at least my age bracket, you know, in early college and fraternities, no one knows a thing about wine except you know what's the cheapest price. Uh, so it's great to see something like this. You can help impress, uh, you know, even wet. So that would change because by by the time you know you you go out of college and you have some money and you want to have a good bottle of wine with uh, you know your companion or bring it to your friends uh, at the dinner party, and you're gonna be okay. I, I want a good wine, but what am I going to pick? You know, what is it going to taste like? I don't know. What am I supposed to pair it with? I don't know. Um, but it can really, what we try to do is put everything on the bottle so that you know that. Um, but the, the other thing I, I, I want to mention in, in the vision, I also wanted to make sure that the product will be a good quality and will be, uh, you know, respectful of the environment, uh, you know, vegan, which means no, no animal product involved. And that's to me has been very important and that's why I've been partnering with family owned vineyards, um, you know, sustainably farm or organic farm vineyards. So, and that to me was very important so that it was not just like a cool concept. I wanted to make sure that the, 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 you know, we are very transparent about how the wine is made and make sure that it's, you know, it's clean and, and, and good, good quality. And so we have your, uh, your free event coming up on Yaymaker July 23rd, yeah. 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, what can a consumer, someone that maybe doesn't know anything about a wine, uh, hope to achieve in attending that event? Um, yeah, so it's an event that is really meant, kind of like obvious wine, it's meant for any type of uh, wine drinker. I mean, of course, it, you have to drink wine or to like wine, uh, but it's really meant for beginners or people who have more knowledge, uh, and it's, I want to walk them through uh, the wines that we produce. And by doing that, I'm going to talk about the different regions of wine, uh, you know, the main varietals, um, the impact of climate. And, um, and really, it's, it's really kind of an, an introduction to wine uh, and what it regroups. Wine is not just a product. You have, you know, the region, you have the climate, you have the winery, you have the soil, you have how the wine is made. I mean, you have so many steps and so many... Uh, variable that impact the taste of the wine and that's kind of what I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to explain uh, without being too technical but of course if people have very technical questions then they can ask them as well. Um, and, I was uh, gonna ask you know I saw you have uh, the number one 
you're dark and bold. Yeah. Um, how would you describe, I mean, if to give a little taste of how would you describe it? Or even? Uh, yeah, it's a cool question. Um, so this one is, uh, is from Paso Robles, which is in California. So it's uh, somewhere between San Francisco and Los Angeles. It's a very hot uh, region. It's, it's a region that is very hilly, but it's by the ocean. Uh, because it's a very hot region, most of the wines coming from there are pretty, pretty big, pretty bold. Um, so this wine is a, is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and also with a little bit of Malbec and Panat. So those are grapes that really grew with a lot of fruit. Uh, so you really get this, this bigness and the, and, and the fruitiness of the fruit. However, it's not, it's pretty well balanced. So you get some nice tannins, nice acidity. Um, so the wine in, in the mass, it's pretty balanced. So you have the, the black fruits. Uh, when you start tasting it, you get the, the black fruit, like blackberries, black cherries, that's very powerful. Um, and then you get the, the, the backbone of, of the tannins and, and some acidity. And then at the end, it's, it's not too strong. So it's pretty well-balanced wine. Um, and uh, yeah, that's- All right, good. great. And then I know one thing we're doing in the event is we have an optional quiz. If anybody wants to get a wine certificate 101 through your course, can you talk a little bit about the quiz? Yeah, so the, this quiz is um, uh, it's going to be the first one we, we implemented. Uh, and the idea is to ask, we're going to ask a few questions um, about, you know, the wine regions and different wine varietals and some winemaking techniques. Uh, again, pretty basic, but still that require some knowledge. And uh, those are elements that I would cover during the, during the tasting. Um, so most of those questions, people who are, have attended the, the tasting and have paid attention to what I was saying, uh, they should be able to answer the, those questions. Great, and as I said, anyone who goes to the quiz will actually send a certificate after. So great. Um, I also just wanna mention for anyone who watches this video, we wanna do this for a few different reasons. One, they get to know you know more, learn more about the event, but I do know if people wanna buy directly wine from your site, um, we've got three promo codes. We have yay four, if anybody buys four bottles of wine to save $5, yay yay y six, if they want to save $10 and yay 12, which I did, um, if they want to save $30 on a case of 12 bottles. Um, you ship to most states, right? Which states don't you, or how many states do you deliver to now in the US? Uh, yeah, we deliver to 40 states out of 50. Um, and the ones we don't ship to are uh, people, I think they are used to it. Unfortunately, it's some states in which the alcohol laws are very, very strict. Um, and often it's states where people are used not to be able to order wine. Um, and also with the promo code, by the way, you also get free shipping. Great, great. Well, all right, well, as I said, we just wanted to do a short interview, short video, and just get people to know you. We're excited about the event, and looking at different ways to promote it. So we wanna say thank you very much. And uh, we're looking forward to July 23rd. No, thank you, merci beaucoup. It was great speaking with you. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to doing the, it's tasting uh, live with everybody. Fantastic. All right. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Bryce. Au revoir. Bye.